it was time to go back to school and I know we'd all much prefer being outside with our friends than inside studying, but sometimes studying can look similar to this. So here's just some back to school study and organizational tips. Starting with at home organization, I recommend you typing out any notes that you took in class and saving them to your computer just so you know you have them just in case you do lose the loose leaf you wrote them on. And then I like to keep sticky notes everywhere with me. The colorful the better and what I like to do is I like to write little reminders to myself for quizzes, tests, just anything like that. And then I just like to stick them to my computer because I visit it every day. But you can stick this to your agenda, on the assignment, anywhere you want. And then I like to get a desk organizer. This is from the dollar store. And I like to store my pens, pencils, highlighters, sharpies. But then I like to spice it up with some sticky notes, hand lotion, hand sanitizer, nail files, more sticky notes, anything to make it girly. And I like to keep some extra notepads on hand just to learn a bit more about my subject online just because it gives me a better idea of my subject. Okay, so for backpack and binder organization. The first thing I like to do is get a file folder. This way I can stick any pieces of homework that I have to do that night and just take the file home with me instead of having to take on the binder. And I know we have all I know we all have multiple notebooks, so what I like to do is I like to condense into one five subject notebook. This lightens up the load quite a bit. And then I like to get some daily organizational sticky notes, or you can get a day planner. This way you can write down when assignments are due. And then just carry this around with you everywhere you go just so you have it and you can remember when things are due. Okay, so for pens and pencils, what I recommend is getting a pencil pouch or a pencil case, anything you want, just so you're not throwing pens and pencils in your backpack. This way you know where they are and you ha make sure you have lots of extras and backups. So what I keep in here is pens, pencils, erasers, highlighters, sharpies, sticky notes, just so I have everything on hand. So for study tips, what I recommend is finding a very quiet place like the library, your room, Starbucks, anywhere that's not filled with people that you can actually get an open mind and be able to study. And then I like to turn off any electronics such as my computer, my iPod, just so I'm not distracted because I can get easily distracted by Instagram. And then also for studying, I like to use index cards and I like to color code them for each subject. Just this way it helps me memorize better so I know which subject is on which color. So it helps me remember a little bit better. And another thing I recommend is highlighting. If a teacher says it more than once, make sure you highlight it and just highlight any important information that's repeated more than once in the textbook or stuff you, you find important. Just make sure you highlight a lot of things. Just make sure you don't highlight the whole page because then you really don't know what you're supposed to be studying. So. And then also have a study schedule. Study for 45 minutes, take a 45 minute break. Don't study for long periods of time. And then just take a break after you study and this can help clear your mind a little bit better and help you retain the information.